let me tell you how I spent my first night in Hong Kong crying my eyes out. Can you take a guess at what happened? Well, the answer is quite simple. I accidentally booked my room in one of Hong Kong's most notorious buildings, Chunking Mansion. Chunking Mansion was once known to be an epicenter of shady business. It was a place filled with narcotics, prostitution, and murder! Murder! Okay, but it was also a place for asylum seekers, backpackers, and it had its spouts of globalization. And although it has cleaned up a lot since its dark past, Chunky Mansion is still no picnic, okay? The building today is filled with multiple guest houses, money exchanges, electronic shops, grocery shops, and no frills South Asian food. The place is a bundle of chaos combined into one structure. You know, I never really thought of how one building could be a whole neighborhood. But Junkie Mansion opened my eyes to that. The building was literally split into multiple blocks. Like you had to get to the different elevators to go up to different floors. It was a wild thing. Now I know what's been on the back of your mind. Nicole, how the hell did you accidentally book this place? Well, I thought I was booking a standalone boutique guest house on booking.com i didn't know that said guest house was in an establishment called chunky mansion and the reviews weren't too bad and so far like all the low price accommodations i had booked in japan and korea they weren't bad so i figured this place wouldn't be as bad either and i was greatly mistaken after a mildly chaotic time at the airport and an exhausting trek to my guest house I was greeted by people haggling me to book rooms at their guest house. Like, oh, do you have a room? Do you have a room? Bro, I told you I had a room, stop asking me. But they haggled. And then you have like rude ass shop workers haggling you as well. So they said something real slight to me and I really couldn't pop off like I wanted to because I, I wasn't trying to come up missing. So I, I held my tongue. But nonetheless. So after all that rude ass haggling, I finally make it to the right elevator that's for the block that my guest house is on. And I'm thinking I can finally get to my room. Psych, I had to wait like another 10 minutes just to catch the elevator because it goes up and down and catch, it's too much, it's too much. So then I finally get to my room and I'm greeted with a psychiatric fucking ward, bro. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but not really, bro. The room was so small and it had no windows. It was the perfect kind of space that would make you snap in which I kind of did. I had to go outside and start exploring immediately because I knew one more second in that room would have evaporated my last drop of sanity. But when I started walking around and exploring more, that's when I really started getting a bit shocked. I was shocked at how that nightmare building was just promptly situated in such a nice area. Like it had great location. A few steps away, there's a Chanel store and like other luxury stores. Down the street and around the corner, there's the beautiful Victoria Harbor, the museum, fancy hotels, the huge mall. The location of Chunky Mansion was on point. And I started to think to myself like, was I overreacting? Am I being too bougie? Like there were even notes in the guest house kind of like giving compliments to the host. And I'm just like, am I the problem? Like Chunky was now gaslighting me. And I thought to myself, like, maybe I should just try to stick it out at least for maybe a few days and get another place. Like when I went to mainland China, I was going to have a nicer room waiting for me. So I was like, let me try to stick it out. But when I got back to the building, I saw a roach crawl into the elevator camera screen. And that, my friend, was my last straw. I spent the whole night crying and searching for a hotel to book. By the wee hours of the morning, I found a new room. Like, I did not sleep at all that night. I was sitting upright because I did not want to lay on the bed. So I was just leaning against my suitcase the whole evening until it was time for me to leave in the morning. I grabbed my shit and I ran. I got me some Hong Kong street foods. I dragged my heavy ass luggage back to the harbor and I sat there and I ate my food. And then I waited for it was finally time to check into my new room. And y'all do not understand the happiness I felt when I pulled up to that hotel building, okay? Like the outside of the building looked nice and modern. The area was quiet. That's what I needed. And they had a proper lobby. So you know it's real when a hotel has a decent lobby. When I reached my room, I could finally breathe. And I thought to myself, now I can finally start enjoying my Hong Kong trip. And yep, that's how I spent my first night in Hong Kong, crying my eyes out. In the moment, it was not funny at all. Now that I think about it, it's a little funny. I got a little character, a little hair on my chest, and a story to tell. But yeah, be careful when booking guest houses in Hong Kong. Hong Kong accommodations are quite expensive, so just budget accordingly for your accommodations. Other stuff won't be as expensive, but booking that room will be and just pay that price because there's really no in-betweens. Unless you're about that life and want to stay a chunky mansion, then be my guest.